recording. What's up, y'all? Jason Earls here and Anaya Earls, my uh, production assistant. Thank you so much for your help. <laughs> A lot of you all are wondering what in the world is going on with this metaverse thing? What is it like? And I've had a lot of conversations about the metaverse. So what I want to do today is take you all on a metaverse experience. Wouldn't that be fun? Mm-hmm. Mark Zuckerberg decided that he and Facebook company would invest $10 billion a year in the metaverse. Oh, snap. If they're investing that much money a year in Facebook, the largest social society in the world, this is a great opportunity for those of us kingdom building people to be involved in something that reaches so many people and that's cutting edge. Because typically when it comes to the church and technology and cutting edge stuff, we spend a lot of time like sheep, sniffing it, smelling it, seeing if it's okay, uh, arguing if this is part of the mark of the beast. <laughs> and then what happens as a result, we get behind the wave of technology. And so I've been hoping and praying that kingdom people would get involved in this metaverse. So what is it like? Let's get ready to go. Here we go. So head backwards, glasses off. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go to the metaverse. All right, here we go. Let's take this app off. And let's look at my house. Look at my house, y'all. This is pretty amazing. See the balloons? See? Looks like Wakanda a little bit. See my, look at my patio. Kill it. Oh my goodness. Now, here are my hands. These are my joysticks. So I can't walk over here. This is kind of like the home base. Let me turn around here and see. I just like this. This looks so good. Right there, that's my neighbor's house. Hey, Johnny, what's up, man? And uh, over here we have, that's my church, right? I'm just playing, y'all. Some of y'all, <laughs> some of y'all are so nervous. All right, so, and this just looks great. All right, so now I'll go here and I'll push apps. Now, here are your apps. When we talk about metaverse, this is what we're typically talking, Horizon World. You have all these other deals right here these other apps these are games or tv uh events youtube vr which is pretty cool but we're gonna go to the metaverse uh horizon worlds let's go there wow. we're gonna visit a few places the first place is soapstone comedy club we'll spend most of our time there and you'll get to see me have some very interesting conversations there then the second place is Sun Valley Community Church. I want to show you what they've got going on there. The third place is just some church that I stumbled upon in the metaverse. And then the fourth and final place is Gutty's Comedy Club, where you'll get to see me perform stand-up comedy my very first time in the metaverse. Let's go! Pain and scene. Here we go. Oh, snap. So this is a menu screen. I have a terminal left to the left. This lets you know everything that's going on or the welcome board. So we don't want to know about that. Now, nah, look at the birds. Wow, look at those birds. Those, oh, hey birds. That right there, that's the temple. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just playing. I bet because some of us were like really scared. Oh, snap, look. Yo, it's me. What's up? What it do? So this is my avatar. This is what I look like in the metaverse. And this is just a little world. Just kind of, again, this is more welcome screen. So you have these different options right here, but you see this location mark, this is worlds. So every single place that you create kind of is a world. So if I go world, these are the worlds. These are the most frequently visited worlds right here. They got Meta High School. <laughs> That's hysterical. A lot of these are games. Now, what you got to understand also is most people come in here for games and socializing. That's, again, <laughs> socializing. So people come here for social connection. And if you are a kingdom-minded person, why not do this? So let's go to Team Soapstone first. In fact, I'm going to see if I can see my man. I'll join in, Aaron. 
at Team Soapstone. Whoa, you see that? Oh, snap. We're painting the scene. Now we're going to Team Soapstone. Y'all pretty excited, huh? Here it is, y'all. On my joysticks, I walk forward with this one, and I turn my head with this one. So here's Team Soapstone. You see my hands? I turn black now. Now, there's Aaron right there. Yeah, buddy. What's up, man? How you doing? Pretty, pretty cool. good. Yourself? I'm doing well. What's up, <laughs> What's up bro? How you doing, man? I'm good, dude. I'm, oh, I'm, it's good to see you. Good to see you, bro. I'm recording a video right now, just kind of introducing people. Cool, man. Well, I'm glad you're here. Glad your friends are here. Absolutely. Uh, Everybody, enjoy it. again, this is my guy, Aaron. Dude, tell us real quick. Tell everybody kind of what you got why you created this thing oh man so it's been a it's been a moving target you know it's it, what this has turned into has turned into so much more than i thought it was going to be what i wanted to build was the biggest comedy club in the metaverse yeah but what it's turned into is this community of people just helping each other supporting each other right and being there for each other it's it's awesome yeah in fact Can there's several COVID? people here that have been a part of it. I don't have Broom it. here and Dylan. I know. I was uh, they have been here for <laughs> uh, for quite like a Broom? while, uh, helping Dylan. out and being a part part of okay. things. Uh, and newer to the scene is uh, Aparita and Atomic D. Atomic D. I just met yesterday, right? Yeah, Atomic? I've been coming in yeah. in and out of here. What's up, Atomic D? Yeah, What's up, yeah, Aparita? And... A A Parada, like Oh, A Parada, my bad. A and then Parada. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's okay. Nice, yeah. nice try, cool. but yeah. <laughs> Yep. Cool. <laughs> Sweet. Sorry about that. Yeah, nice. yeah. Nice. We're just uh, enjoying the night with the stars. Yeah, y'all yeah, see the stars. It's pretty cool. Um, what's your hey, name? dude, won't you uh, won't you give us a tour of the club right quick? You got time? Absolutely. This is one part of the club that I always like to start with. Okay. Because it's uh, to me, it's one of the most important things. Uh, just a sense of gratitude. You know, I, I just like to thank people for being here and acknowledge what really makes this place great, and it's no the doubt. people in it, of course. Uh, these people are funny, gracious, and supportive, and uh, I'm just thrilled yeah, about it. And speaking of the people in here, we've had several people start shows that are happening every night of the week. Tonight, we've got world tours uh, headed by Chimera Chaos. Uh, I love the names in yeah. here. <laughs> and, uh, and as you can see on the scrolling billboard, we've got events happening every single day. There you go, there you go. You never know quite what you're going to get. Yeah. Uh, we do have house rules uh, that no vulgar profanity, graphic sexual jokes, no racial or homophobic jokes. Um, but, but uh, you know, what I've found is those rules actually open up deeper conversations. Absolutely. Sometimes it's not about, like, trying to boot people, trying to get people out of here. It's about Welcome just to the helping social. people respect each other. Please keep it moving. I change myself to a girl avatar. Get some coffee, bro, my way. Thank you. Yeah, so this is uh, this is the club. I'll show you backstage as well. Y'all yeah. know how to do this? So you don't have any legs or a snap. Oh, people are getting yeah. out. People followed you in the back and all got... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is the backstage area. This is a spot where people who are performing can just kind of chill. Um, and I've got my uh, my office back here, my desk. I, I love your to-do list, by the way. That's great. Thank you, man. Thanks. Yeah, this, this right here, like, it's so easy to get wrapped up in what's going on here. I needed something to center myself on what I'm really trying to accomplish in here. And really what this is about is empowering leaders, encouraging others towards the spotlight, oh, and sharing what I'm learning. Oh, getting back here. Oh, are they? Oh, I uh, yeah. I'll go to the front. You can show them how to come through from the front. Yeah, and then of course the, the three businesses that I'm involved with are the Unemployed Alcoholic, yeah. which I do like uh, recovery speaking and comedy, clean comedy time where we produce IRL shows and do a podcast and then of course jason you're real Boom. familiar with the well metaverse absolutely <laughs> yeah 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 I, I i i will look up the well metaverse so this is this is pretty much the the gist of the club but again i mean it's the the biggest thing about this club is the people in it man 
we've just been really alcoholic. fortunate that that the people have come in here and and just been a huge part of it no doubt e even gremlin we we've we've butted heads just a couple times on on where that <laughs> oh, line you, is yeah <laughs> you know i'm learning i'm learning <laughs> sometimes it takes yeah. a 30-day ban you know what i mean oh so you got banned before huh <laughs> oh. man whole whole headset bricked up bro <laughs> oh <laughs> you can't even use the internet the metaverse has a safety system set up you can report someone for being inappropriate for bullying for harassing now what meta would do they will review it you also get to click a video when that stuff is going on when they review it and that complaint stands you will get banned from the metaverse for 30 days just remember the street code snitches get glitches <laughs> let's go back so you got banned but you came back what made you come back came back after after 30 days just reflecting i don't know dude reflecting like is like so a the ban worked life. it worked it perfectly is. to make you think it about what you did Worked. I sent a couple nasty DMs to Mark Wahlberg, or I mean Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Actually, when, anytime I'm upset, I like to send nasty DMs to Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you a question, Gremlin? Yeah, anything. If you made that adjustment in here in the metaverse, did that thing, did it cause you to make any adjustments outside the metaverse, like in real life? Like, have you seen your your relationships with people in here impact your relationships out, outside of here? That's a great question. Jesus. Um, yeah, I'd say, I mean, time off the VR puts your time in the real world. And then you tell people about your experiences getting banned in here. And they're like, oh, man, wow. They usually give you some good advice, too. No doubt. I got a question. So are you guys just like... I don't know how to explain it. I'm sitting at home right now, but like, like, do you spend most of your like whole entire day just on on this? We don't even go to sleep. We stay on this the whole time. I'm not even a real person. I'm AI. <laughs> Avatars don't need sleep, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> See, when I'm tired, I just no, go on that couch over there and go to that. sleep for the night. <laughs> that's, VR, that's you know? right. that's, but but that's a really good question because I know yeah. Aaron and I had this discussion uh, on the podcast just about how you got to limit your time and guard your time. Uh, because right. too much time in here will <laughs> affect your relationships, but not only affect your relationships, but affect other things outside of this, your, you know, your work, even as great as this right. is. Yeah. And it's pretty cool. Cause we would have never met had it not been for the metaverse, but it oftentimes is, I like, there's this principle called stewardship. It's like, yo, if you, if you don't manage right. this time, well, you know, you, you won't manage other stuff in life. I don't know if that makes sense. So. This is today's experience in Soapstone. Remember, regardless of how individualized you think the metaverse is or virtual reality, the human aspect does not change. In this comedy club, you heard me talk to people and you see that those interactions turned into some thought-provoking questions. That's what happens in the metaverse. Let's end our time here in Soapstone and let's go ahead to our next place, Sun Valley Church. I met Sun Valley's online pastor at his previous tenure as a pastor in Texas. Jason B is his name. Very good dude, very encouraging dude, and they are doing some awesome things in Arizona and in the metaverse. What y'all think so far? Comment, tell me what you think. So, here is Sun Valley. Look at this parking lot. It's clean, no oil leaks, nothing. <laughs> but man, the landscape, I mean, look how they trim the trees, man. Look at the grass and the rocks, perfectly manicured. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so we're going here, and that's the entrance. So let's go to, we're going to church. Woo! Let me turn. Let's go to church, y'all. So this is their lobby. Whoa. Okay. This is it. So this is 360 view. This is outside. All right. 
So I've never been to Sun Valley before to do a comedy show. What's up with that, Jason? But I just want to go y'all show y'all this. Okay, so this, I imagine this resembles their um their church, their physical location. So here's the stage. I'm just jumping up and down. So you can see what it looks like. Or oh, let's just go up. So you see, I'm looking down. If I jump up and move forward, this is just to keep you in your spot in the church. And in church, they um, in church they run the service from up here. So it's pretty cool. And I can't go on stage. You'll notice that I can't go on stage. They do play weapon music when you come in. All right. If you want to go to the balcony, you just come. Press that. Now I'm in the balcony. See that? And if you want to leave, go back downstairs. You just come here. Put your hand on that. All right. So let's go back out. So Sun Valley Community Church Info Wall. So I got all the announcements. If you want to come to the meta service. Go to Horizon Venues. I showed you all that early. And here's what's crazy. Message SV Passer online on Oculus. So if you want to join team, and Jason is one praying dude. Dude really ministers. If you want them to pray for you, you can text that number right now, and uh, they'll do that. And Pastor Jason is a dude that really prays. He'll text me every now and then and say, hey, man, I'm praying for you. We exist to help people meet, know, and follow Jesus. So they got the gym. That's the coffee spot. And uh, they got a gym. So you can just come out here and play some games. You can. Oh, let me grab it. And then let me. I, can't... I can play basketball for real. Uh oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh oh. Can you pursue some boobs at church? Go back. Oh! Oh! See? It takes a while to get used to it. <laughs> All right, I remember. I gotta make one shot before I go. All right, let's take a few. There we go. All right, I'm out. So I can go outside and go to another world? Or... Oh, let me show you how upstairs. So you just hop upstairs. Or you just walk upstairs. And they got another game. I just got dizzy doing that for some reason. Every now and then you get dizzy. Let me slow down. You are welcome here. So they got different games you can play. basketball court. This is what everything looks like. I know you're wondering like, yo, they got books? What are those books? You can't do it. All right. Now, to leave, I could go outside, but this is the metaverse. You don't need to go outside. I could do this. And I just put this up. So, I'm, I've never liked this. I'm going to like it. And uh, I typically like to let Jason know when I visit it. So I take a picture, but I already have a picture there. So let's go to Worlds. Now I'll take you out to my other place. Oh, let's go to For You. I'll take you out to another church. So I found this church just going. Let's go there. So watch this. I'm about to disappear. Whoa, I disappeared. So there is kingdom building in the metaverse. <clears throat> so if you want more, I'll put Jason's information down there in Sun Valley Church. I don't know who created this world, this next one we're going to, 
Uh, but this is just, uh, you call it Horizon Assembly. I actually had an idea. I wanted to uh, do a church called First Baptist Metaverse. Uh, okay. So this is, this is different. This looks a lot like a, um, this looks like a word of faith church, you know, kind of that I would visit when I went to college. So you got, you know, but it's just like a church, man. You can walk over here and, uh, you know, I guess they got some drinks in the church. So, you know, they, oh, that was weird. Yeah. See, get that. Let me get your burger. Get you some food before you go in church. All right. So then you come over here, and here is, which is pretty cool. I don't know what this is like on Sunday. I don't know. Again, I don't know anyone who um, made this, the people who run this church. But it looks, I mean, it. It feels churchy. It does. Somebody left a guitar. If I come in here, I'll just try to clean up the stuff. Let's go. Take care of the church and stuff. Oops. There we go. So they do have the drums. <laughs> so if you want to join the praise team, you're welcome to. You come up here. And uh, I don't know what this is. So you feel like shouting. Hey, you can go, hey, thank you, Jesus. You can run around this church. So if you ever feel like Eli, I need to go to church and just have some quiet time. Hey, you got it. And you just go. Uh, go for a walk. I guess this is another lounge spot. Now, what you notice in, in, in the metaverse, a lot of people come out just to hang out for, for social interaction. So if you want to get baptized, you can come on your way out. As I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Woo! There you have it. So that's Horizon Assembly. I forgot the name of the church. So let's go Horizon Worship Assembly. So this tells you kind of like 293, 23 people have liked it, including me. And these are some of the people who have visited and taken pictures. So that's cool. Uh, and that shows you who created it. CJ Shotlow. Good stuff, CJ. I'm gonna follow this brother because he created something good. See how that works? Now that disappeared, so I'm gonna hit the screen right here. That's what's funny. You see people doing this all the time. Here we go. So let's visit another world. Let's go to, okay, my for you, Gutties. So I'll take you to Gutties. Now, Gutty's has two comedy clubs, physical comedy clubs, one in Indiana and one in Minneapolis. And so I was doing the one in Minnesota and the owner, Kyle, asked me, would I be interested in doing a comedy show in the metaverse? I was like, of course. The club that I went to was their first metaverse club. So it looked a little bit different. This one is really modern, updated. It looks really nice. Man, I see y'all fellas. Let's go. All right, so I'm about to get ready to go on stage. You're about to see me performing at Gutty's Comedy Club. Now remember, this is my first time in the metaverse. So if some young kid set up my guest avatar, it's gonna look a little bit different. And oh, whatever, young boy. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, coming to the stage, give it up for cartoon Jason, Earl. 
Yo, so uh, I, I hail from Dallas, Texas. Anybody from Dallas? Whoop, whoop. Yeah, no, nope. right here. Okay. Oh, right what's here. up? What's up, Hood Bar? I All see right, you. Okay. All right, big, big Z man. Yo, so uh, um, you know, I am married. My wife and I've been married for 21 years. Okay, no applause for that. No applause. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and uh, man, God's bless our marriage with six kids. Come on, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just not. Hey. Yep. Yep. And so, man, it's funny. My kids' names are Aaron, Alexandria, Alicia, Andrew, Akeem, and Anaya. That's my first time making straight A's. This <laughs> 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 is hysterical. I'm really messed up right now because, like, you know, everywhere I go, there's this this white circle that uh follows me, man. I'm like, man, that white man is everywhere. He can't go. <laughs> he following y'all too. Like this is very dangerous. <laughs> this is a setup. I don't know where I go. I always feel like somebody's watching me. <laughs> What's up? We see in the back JoJo Nutto. Like she's levitating in the back. What's up? Wow, that is amazing. I had to get the best seat in the house. Yeah, <laughs> no doubt. No, that's pretty cool. I'm just part of me want to tell jokes, but part of me so messed up because this is my first time in the metaverse. I'm like, wow. They had a look. I don't know who that was. Who um, it was a panhandler, and outside the club, and uh, he asked me for a spare credit card number, and I I gave it to him. So uh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just loving this right now. This is my first time at a metaverse. I think I'll have to come back here some other time, hang out, and really, uh, after I'm blown away. Right, right. Uh, so, listen. So I do. I like. I, I perform all over the country and internationally, mainly churches. Any church people in the building? Woo. Maybe I hit someone. I wasn't supposed to hit someone. Something like. Control. I'm leaving. I didn't know it was. Good. So, um, in church when I went moved to Dallas. So like man, there's a lot of great ch churches out here, I, I, oh, but they like they go over there. the top. Everything's bigger in Texas. Like I went to one church, they sold season tickets to their church service. I'm like, that's weird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had to pay for parking out that piece. I'm like, yo, what in the world's going on? Them jokers sold prepaid offering cards. I'm like, wow, this is really weird. You know, they had cheerleaders in there. I walked in like spirit fingers. Woo! Spirit fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all right, Jesus. I'm like, oh, y'all didn't see my legs moving. That was a little weird. <laughs> yeah, that was like, <laughs> like, yo, your flies open. Okay, my bad. My flies open. <laughs> Snap, my flies gone, bro. <laughs> Where's my zipper? My zipper's gone. Snap. <laughs> I got to pee. Not in the metaverse, baby. You just hold that. Yeah. But when you get out of here, brother, your white ring turned yellow. Why is my white ring so yellow? That is pretty cool. Well, anyway, I'm going to get out of here. That's my time. Yo, it's good to see everybody, man. Looking forward to more. Yo, follow Gutties. Gutties is doing some amazing things. So there you have my first experience on stage and the comedy metaverse. Here's what I want to tell you. Man, it's so many opportunities here. You see comedy clubs, you see churches, there are other things. There's even uh, beauty salons, hair barber shops, so many things going on in the metaverse. And if you know that you've been placed on this earth to impact people, I would encourage you. I would encourage your organization to get involved in the metaverse. I'm Jason Earls, and I hope you enjoy this tour. I love to keep you abreast on what I've got going on in the comedy world. Just text LAUGH to 33777. That's 33777. Text LAUGH to that and join a brother's email list. I'll see y'all next time, whether it's here in your city or in the metaverse. Peace.